Tanks are an indispensable element of any major army in the world. In today's episode, we'll show you some amazing examples of these destructive machines. I invite you to watch. Leopard 2A7 Entering service in 2014, this German tank quickly took a large share of the market, leading in many different world rankings. It has been described as a well-balanced tank with a well-thought-out design, but what's so special about it? The tank is equipped with a powerful 120mm L55 smoothbore gun. It allows you to fire both standard ammunition as well as 120mm high explosive shells. The high accuracy of the tank is ensured by a thermal imaging site. The short barrel facilitates stabilization while moving, thus increasing the accuracy of shooting while driving. The engine has a power of 1500 horsepower and can reach speeds of up to 72 kilometers hour. The range on one refueling is up to 450 kilometers. This makes the Leopard one of the fastest and most efficient tanks. In numerous international competitions, this model excelled in terms of overall performance compared to American, British and French tanks. It should be noted that the Leopard 2A7 has not yet participated in any hostilities, and its previous models, the 2A4, were destroyed during the Syrian Civil War. Abrams M-1 the American Abrams went down in history as the most durable tank in the world. These machines proved themselves well during the Gulf War. In 2003, in the Second Gulf War, Abrams successfully served in the operation that overthrew the dictatorship of Saddam Hussein. Interestingly, at that moment, an incident occurred that was difficult to predict. While crossing the Euphrates River, one of the tanks accidentally fell off the bridge. In addition, there were also cases when enemy fighters managed to damage the hull of the tank and capture it. The Americans quickly learned from these events and upgraded Abrams to a new version. The M1A2 SEP V3 uses advanced armor to protect against all modern existing anti-tank weapons. The latest versions of the tank are equipped with a defense system against weapons of mass destruction. The system provides a supply of filtered air to the masks of the crew members in case the enemy uses nuclear or chemical weapons. In addition, the protection system prevents radioactive dust and toxic substances from entering the fighting compartment. It should be noted that the tank has a fairly high rate of fire, which is 10 to 12 rounds per minute. It is equipped with a modern radar system. The vehicle's crew can map the location of other tanks of their unit while on the move. A feature of this tank is its practical use in military operations. Every seven years, the Abrams undergoes a major upgrade. There have been so many changes in the tank that since its creation in 1980, basically all its modules have already been replaced. Black Panther K-2 South Korea decided to compete with other countries in the arms race by releasing a model of the Black Panther K-2 tank. Currently, it is one of the most advanced tanks in the world. It combines the strength of German firepower with Leopard and American Abrams security. The armored vehicle has an advanced fire control system that can automatically detect and fire at visible targets. It is able to destroy a ground vehicle or low-flying aircraft completely autonomously without human intervention. It is said that the frontal armor of the South Korean tank can withstand fire even from a 120mm tank shell. Overall, its armor level is similar to the M1A2 Abrams tank. The Nemo to Black Panther is much lighter and more mobile. An important feature of this tank is the active counteraction system. This technology is based on radio radar and a thermal imaging camera. The tank is able to detect incoming shells at a distance of up to 150 meters. The computer calculates threat trajectories and within 0.2 to 0.3 seconds, releases interceptors that explode nine to 14 meters from the target. The Korean Black Panther K2 is the most expensive tank in existence today. 
Its production costs $8.5 million. By comparison, the Abrams cost about $6 million and the Leopard $8 million. Challenger 2. In 2019, the then British Secretary of Defence, Penny Mordaunt, sharply criticised this tank model. She claimed that the Challenger 2 had been in service with the Army since 1998 without any upgrades. At the same time, the US and Germany have already completed two major upgrades, and Russia has introduced five new tanks. And indeed, the Challenger 2 is definitely inferior to the tanks we have already discussed. Still, it's worth taking a look at its features. This British tank is armed with an accurate 120mm gun. Its guns are rifled, unlike the smoothbore barrels used on all other modern tanks. This feature allows the Challenger to wreak havoc at extremely long ranges of up to 5 kilometers. The hull and turret are made of blocks of multi-layered armor, which makes this tank not as fast as its modern competitors. Type 90. This Japanese tank, at first glance, has many similarities with the Leopard, as it was developed by Mitsubishi EC in cooperation with German tank manufacturers. This war machine features an automatic ammo loader. Thanks to this, it was possible to reduce the number of crew to only three people. The sight of the tank, in addition to the standard thermal viewer, has a laser rangefinder that allows you to determine the distance of the target. Another unusual feature of this vehicle is the hydropneumatic suspension, which allows it to lean in and take a more advantageous tactical position. It is worth considering that the Type 90 does not stand out with any outstanding armor protection. Its main role is to support infantry, not to fight enemy tanks. T-14 Armata. In turn, this Russian tank that entered production in 2009 has many innovative features. It has an unmanned turret, is equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun, and is much more powerful than the German Leopard 2. The range of its fire reaches 6.5 kilometers. The tank is equipped with the Afghanit Active Protection System. It is capable of effectively tracking and intercepting an anti-tank threat. Its turret and hull, on the other hand, are protected by double-acting reactive armor. The tank only needs three operators, who sit in an armored capsule at the front of the hull. The tank's computer system also notifies the crew in the event of a failure of its lower module. According to some data, the cannon can reach speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour. It must be admitted that the technologies installed in this tank are impressive. Merkava Mark IV. This Israeli tank has a rather unusual design. Its engine is located in the front, which gives the crew additional protection and a chance of survival in the event of damage. The Merkava is equipped with a battle-proven active defense system, which destroys incoming anti-tank missiles and rockets. The Israeli machine is armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun. It also has a modern fire control system that includes some very advanced features. One of them is high efficiency when shooting at low-flying helicopters. The mobility of the Merkava Mark IV, despite being equipped with a powerful engine, is quite average due to its heavy weight. All tanks in this series have a rear compartment that can be used to transport troops and cargo. It is worth noting that this tank can lead up to 10 soldiers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notifications about the latest episodes. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.